This is Medusa. She's a giant anaconda. That's just the tail. And she's a man-eater. King of the Amazon. Tremendous constricting power and very, very powerful. What does she eat? Anything she wants. Medusa was a baby when given up, unwanted, unloved, and undernourished. Thirteen years ago, we gave her the name Medusa, because as a baby, she'd hang out, coiled in our hair, and we all looked like Medusa. She was so tiny then. Some of us were just kids then. I guess to own a man-eating sized snake, you still need to be a kid at heart, or a little crazy. I suppose both helps. Who knew one day Medusa would grow to eventually be a monstrous constrictor? Anacondas are known for two things, their huge size and their generally mean temperament. This shows with patience and a lot of love, even man-eaters like Medusa can be gentle companions. Face only a mother could love. <laughs> That's just the tail. The anaconda's tail is bigger than her arm. We've had Medusa since she was little. Even as a baby, she was several feet long. Anacondas are known for their aggressive nature, both in the wild and in the pet trade. But this anaconda has been tamed as much as you can tame a giant man-eating snake. Through handling, love, and patience, they make interesting companions. If you don't mind the occasional missing, annoying neighbor's kid and door-to-door -door salesman, an advantage of owning a large anaconda, I suppose, they naturally take care of the riffraff. Our lovely owner has a few words to say about Medusa. She did eat a pig about three or four days ago. So, a little extra added weight to her. Just get her mouth open. Isn't she gorgeous? A face only a mother could love. <laughs> hey, pretty girl. Smile for the camera. There we go. Anacondas are a little goofy looking. They got their eyes on the very top of their heads. They're water snakes and that's how they stalk their prey. Heavy, my goodness. They're putting weight on, little girl. Come on, little girl, come back. Slippery snake. She is very strong and very heavy. 
she does have a mind of her own, you can, as you can see. <laughs> she does like to get up and move around. She ate a pig a couple days ago. The green anaconda, the world's heaviest, most powerful snake in the world. A name for this constrictor in South America is Mata Toro, Spanish for bull killer. With its innate love of water, this muscular snake has an enormous prey drive and will strike at anything unlucky enough to approach the water's edge, including indigenous Amazons who become a potential meal for this giant constrictor. Reportedly approaching lengths of 30 feet, this monster is a true heavyweight as far as snakes go. Never handle a snake of this size alone, as you'll see why in just a moment. Watch it, girlfriend. I know you don't like being in videos. Now I see why. Something always seems to happen. Tremendous constricting power. It started off innocently enough. To own a man-eating sized snake, you still need to be a kid at heart. One day, we're going to find her boots hanging out of Medusa's mouth. Don't go running to me, girlfriend, if you get eaten up by Medusa. Solid muscle, built for rapidly lunging out of water at unsuspecting prey and coiling around it and squeezing with immense strength, enough to literally interfere with blood flow, causing cardiac arrest. Would you ever handle a snake as large as Medusa? Have you? Perhaps you've met Medusa in one of our educational outreaches. If so, please let us know. Thanks for watching, and let us know what you think of Medusa in the comment section below. Hey guys, click our sponsor button. It's next to our subscribe button. If you liked this video, click the videos that are popping up on your screen. We would love for you to subscribe to the Reptile channel. And as always, please feel free to comment below. Let us know if you have any suggestions. Please subscribe.